Hey, I am Kirby, and you are watching Kirby Q. Um, we finally got spring here in Virginia, and I decided to do a series of cook on grilled and smoked side dishes. And um, uh, nothing helps the outdoor experience a little bit better than, of course, you know, ribs, your chicken, your brisket, your your hamburgers, your steaks. All those things are fine, but um, having some grilled sides is also a, a, a little extra adds a little extra umph. To what you're trying to do when you're having an outdoor gathering. So I thought today I was thought um, for the next series of cooks I will share some um, side items that we can prepare on the grill or smoker. Today I'm going to be doing um, smoked or grilled cat, probably grilled, because I've been using it on the grill. But uh, it's, but uh, it is smoked cabbage is what it's going to be. All right. So without further delay, let's get started with this cook. Alright, to do the smoked cabbage, what we're going to need is first of all, some cabbage. You want to go ahead and core out the um, core, take out the core of the um, cabbage. Um, there's plenty of ways to do it. What I did, just took a knife, cut around the core, and sliced it out. Okay? What I'm going to do is fill in here is some butter. I have about a half a cup of butter, kind of already pre softened. I have a teaspoon of ancho chili, ancho powder, sorry. I have a half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil. And this is a, because I didn't have enough cups, but this is um, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, gar granulated garlic, and a half a teaspoon of um, cumin. And we have some bacon bits that I had left over from breakfast. I'm going to mix that all in here into the butter. And we just want to mix it into get it all mixed well incorporated into the butter now we're going to take the butter and put it in fill it in into this hole Now you want to get you some aluminum foil. Rip you some off. And I'm gonna two ply it. of your foil then make like a little bowl I have some chicken broth here I'm going to pour in about a half a cup of chicken broth. I'm using a quarter cup measuring thing, so that's why you see me pouring it twice. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it. Three quarters of a cup. All right, now we're going to put this on the grill. Come on, follow me over to the grill. Okay, we're going to go indirect on the kettle grill for about an hour, all right? Then after an hour, I'm going to come back, completely seal it, and then let it go for another hour, 
all right so i'll see you in about an hour okay it has been one hour i'm now going to completely seal up the cabbage and allow the chicken broth to do this thing all right all right it's been about two and a half hours um, that I've had this on and I flipped it over so that's why look we got it kind of tender let's move this over to the table for the next part okay what I want to go ahead and do now of course we don't want to cabbage hole just like this I'll go ahead and move it into a bowl what I'm going to do is go ahead and start cutting it up little quarters Take some of this turn for our juices in. We don't want to miss any of that. All right. This is the finished product. Smoked cabbage. Let's give it a little taste. Give it a taste. Really good. You can taste some of the uh, basil and oregano. I'm making a mess. But hey, this is smoked cabbage. I hope you give it a try. Add a little Greek seasoning, salt, pepper. This is going to be a hit. Thanks for watching Curb Q. If you like this, please subscribe. Share it with a friend on Facebook. God bless. Tune in again. Bye-bye.